FileBurn Neo is an alternative to MAME. If we go over to the wiki, we can see all the other arcade machines that it can support. Let's go to the releases. And here we can download the latest stable version, which is version 1.0.0.2. FB Neo. I already have it in my desired location, so I'm not going to download it again. This emulator requires the DirectX redistributable June 2010 version for it to run. If you already have this installed, you can skip this step. For the ROMs, I have a particular game I like to play, and that is called Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. If I search over here, I can see the ROMs associated with that game, and I only want the USA version. So if I go search for USA, so the name is Dino U. I can download the ROM from this full non-merged set. If we go to zip and we can look for Dino U, we can select that game only. So this is if you don't want to download gigabytes of ROMs and it allows you to select just the game you like. I'm going to save it into ROMs, main, and I like to separate my ROMs per system. So this is the CP system one, which is a Capcom arcade. I'm going to save it here. And now we can start setting up our emulator. I'm going to extract. We can delete that. And here I'm just going to rename to FB Neo. It could be anything you like. From here, we can already start the executable. So what we want to do is first configure the emulator outside of LaunchBox. Then we will point LaunchBox to the standalone emulator. We'll just say OK. I agree. And OK. So for us to start our game, we need to first set our blitter. So blitter is like your backend renderer. That's what they call it. And you can use different kinds of blitters. It's usually using an older version of DirectX. That's why we needed to install that 2010 version. So it's Direct3D7 and Direct3D9. I like to go with Direct3D9 alternative. And with that, it opens all other options. So I like linear filtering. I go to the algorithm. I'll, I like 75% scan lines. And we can also auto switch to full screen after you load the game. So now we need to scan for the games. Let's go to game, load game, browse for that path. So remember, I placed it under apps, games, ROMs, main, CPS1, and we hit OK.
Now we can see that there are no games over here. So for that to show up, you need to check show available. And because we picked our game from the full non-merged set, you don't need all the uh, parent ROMs for this one. Each ROM is a standalone archive in itself. So if I start playing, and the game successfully starts. So we actually want to configure our input settings. So we can escape that by Alt F4. At this point, I will turn on my Xbox One controller, which is connected to my laptop via Bluetooth. We can now start FB Neo again. And to configure input mappings, we need to start the game. Load, Cadillacs, play. We can exit full screen mode by pressing Alt Enter. And we can go to input. Map game inputs. So you can double click your game inputs and then press the corresponding key. So here I can just clear for P1 coin. Start is the start button. I like to use the left thumbstick. You can use the D-pad if you like. And this game only has two buttons, attack and jump. So if we go to page five of the manual, it only has these two buttons. And then we will also configure the test menu later. Let's continue. So for attack, I like to use X. And for jump, I like to use A. So it's easier to press them together. You can also configure the buttons for the other players if you like. This is the service and the test menu. So for service, I'll just map this to F1, so it's easier to remember. And then here you can also assign your load state and save state. So I just like to go F7 for load state, and then F5 for save state. It could be anything you like. Click OK. And now we can set up the test menu. So for that, we're going to press F2 for diagnostics. And then we can now use our left stick to navigate through the menus. So for system configuration, we press A. So that's the attack button. I'm sorry, X for the attack button. And this is where we can configure our settings for the game. So I would like this to be free play. So you move the left stick left or right. Continue on, demo sound. We can just say, for example, two players. And this is the lives and this is the number of points required for an additional life we go exit so you press start to save that and then x again to exit And as you can see, it is now free play, so we just press start. Final uppercut!
So we just press Alt F4 to exit that game. Now that we have our FB Neo set up, we can now configure it with LaunchBox. So to do that, we go to LaunchBox. We import our ROM just like how we import any other ROM. So we go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, we add the files, not the folder. And here we're just going to select where our ROMs were. So it's ROMs, name, and we only have one. So open. We go next. And this is where we point LaunchBox to our FB Neo executable file. It's a bit different from other standalone emulators. So here we need to type at the system of the arcade. Because if you go to the drop down, you will see that the CP system or the Capcom system is not listed by default. So we need to type in CP system. It could be anything you like. You could say CP1. Um, the game is actually a CP1 game. So here we can scrape as arcade. There we go. We go next. And then our emulator is already configured over here. It's selected. So we can just go to edit. And we need to check remove quotes and remove file extension and folder path. So you want your emulator and the ROM file to be passed in this format. This is because some emulators have different ways of passing the ROM as a parameter. So you need to go to the wiki of your emulator if it has it. And luckily, we, they actually documented a command line. So you see from the example, this is how it's supposed to pass the game, the name of the ROM, like Dino U, to the emulator, which is FB Neo. So that's why we had to check these. Otherwise, it will look in this format, and FB Neo will not recognize it. So we go OK. Let's just select that again. Use the files, current location. And here we can just let it scrape for the box art. And since this is a MAME ROM, you need to check force using MAME. Import all, check none, do not create playlists. So it detected Cadillacs and dinosaurs. And now you can see our game is already imported successfully into LaunchBox. Let's run the game again. The game now starts with LaunchBox. To exit, press Escape. That's it. That's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.